हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज हरीश नागर टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट खुशवंत सिंह गाइस खुशवंत सिंह वाज बोर्न इन 1915 एंड ही डाइड इन 2014 नाउ इफ यू लुक एट खुशवंत सिंह ही इज फेमसली नोन फॉर हिज वर्क ट्रेन टू पाकिस्तान एंड देयर आर अ लॉट ऑफ अदर वर्क्स व्हिच आर कंसीडर्ड एज पार्टीशन नोवेल सो बिफोर वी टॉक अबाउट खुशवंत सिंह वर्क ट्रेन टू पाकिस्तान आई वुड लाइक टू नेम थ्री अदर पार्टीशन नोवेल्स वन इज बालचंद्रन राजन्स वर्क डार्क डांसर द सेकंड इज मनोहर मालगोंकर्स वर्क a bend in the ganges and the third one is chaman nahal's azadi so these are three other partition novels that you should remember now we are going to look at his famous work train to pakistan which was published in the year 1956 now before we look at the novel i would first like to talk about the condition of india during the period in which the novel is set so we find that for centuries india was ruled by the british empire but then finally india was able to bargain its independence from britain by agreeing that indians would help british people to fight in the world war second so india fought for britain in world war 2 and because of that particular help britishers decided to free india from the colonization rule now after the war was over we find that british left india in 1947 and the country was divided into two parts we had a secular india and a muslim pakistan so secular or or you could say are mostly hindu india and muslim pakistan however despite the fact that many muslim lived in india and many hindus lived in pakistan most hindus lives in india and most muslim lived in pakistan so though both countries were secular both countries respected religion and tolerated religion differences but still we find that most of the hindus were living in india whereas most of the muslim were living in pakistan now in the summer of 1947 10 million people crossed what we know as partition today so after partition happened 10 million people went from india to pakistan and so forth from pakistan to india now due to religious ethnic hatred 2 million people were killed during the partition and local authorities were unable to do anything because they were just taking over the entire matter from the hands of british and they have no ability to control the chaos that was happening train to pakistan takes place during this particular scenario and it takes place in the fictional town of mani majra mano majra is a town which is located on the border so it is a very near to the partition area and many border towns like mani majra contain religious diversity like these towns had hindu muslim sikh living side by side but britishers took no account of these towns so a great violence erupted within these towns particularly and when the novel opens things are relatively stable in mani majra and in mani majra there is a train station that would eventually make it a center of conflict so all the things that happen in that train station which is located in mani majra so when the novel begins we find that there are five dakat who murder ramlal ramlal is a hindu mani lender dakat means a gang of criminals so five criminals they murder ramlal who was a hindu money lender now suspicion falls that maybe ramlal was murdered by jaggu singh now who is jaggu singh jaggu singh is a village gangster who is in love with the muslim girl and also there was another person in the novel whose name was iqbal he is a foreign educated atheist social worker who has come from britain and people gave him a lot of respect and because he is from you know different nation they call him babu saheb so we have three main people in the beginning of the novel we have ramlal who is murdered by five criminals he is hindu then we have jaggu singh who is in love with a muslim girl he is also hindu and then we have iqbal who is a foreign educated atheist social worker now we as reader know that the murder was done by gang of mali so these five dakat they were from a gang of mali but police thought that the murder was committed by jaggu singh and iqbal so jaggu and iqbal both are arrested for the murder which they did not commit when they are released from the jail they realize that the gang of mali which murder ramlal was planning to attack the train which was taking mani majras muslim people to pakistan so there is a train in which all the muslim people who are in mani majra they are going to board this train and go to pakistan and the gang of mali was planning to attack this train and kill the passengers now remember when i was introducing you to jaggu singh i told you that jaggu had an affair with a muslim girl 
and the name of that muslim girl is nuran so nuran who is uh, jaggu's lover is also on the train and neither the magistrate nor the police is able to control the tide of violence and all of them are having intention to save the train but they are not aware that it may cause their own life also so iqbal when he released from prison he is in the dilemma that whether you should help people or you should not on the other hand we have jaggu singh who sacrifices his own life to save the train why because nuran his lover is there on the train so the train to pakistan shows theme of love religion and how because of religion we can do things to mankind which can be extremely dangerous and uh, which can be extremely heart breaking as well that love exists in every religion the bond between sikh jaggu and muslim show that people can choose to be different that love exists in every religion so jaggu was sikh whereas he is in love with nuran who is a muslim girl and this beautiful relationship tells us a lot more that what the novel has to offer on the surface level so guys that was train to pakistan by khushwan singh and this was published in 1956 apart from that there is an another work by khushwan singh which is truth love and a little malice it is an autobiographical work this was published in 2002 and it is the autobiography of khushwan singh so remember this thing guys khushwan singh's autobiography is called truth love and a little malice so in this particular lecture we have talk about two works of khushwan singh namely train to pakistan published in 1956 and truth love and a little malice published in 2002 so that's it for today's lecture thank you